In this next video, we're going to show how to create uh, subplots within uh, Python, within the matplotlib. Um, you know, we showed a first example on just how to create basic trends. And, uh, you know, first thing that we need to do is just import uh, the matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And we're also going to use numpy as well. And don't forget to do the matplotlib inline. Um, when you're in the IPython notebook, okay? Otherwise the plots will not display. Okay, but now we want to create uh, some subplots and we just have y1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, with different uh, exponents on the x and we want to use 10 points between x equals 0 to 10. So the first thing that we're going to do is just use the lin space within the numpy. Uh, we'll go 0 to 10 and then 10 points. And if we just print X, we'll see those 10 points. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just uh, create our Y's. Okay, so Y is gonna be, Y1 is gonna be X. Y2 is gonna be X uh, squared. Y3, X cubed. And then Y4 is, is going to be, I think we can do square root of X. Let's just go ahead and try that. Okay, so everything looked like it checked out okay now what we want to do is go ahead and create a new plot okay figure all right there's our plot and now what we want to do is use the subplot plt uh, subplot and we want to create something that we're going to have we have four on there so we want to create a uh, two by two um, you know, let's go ahead and create a, a two by two. We could also put these like a four by one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a two by two. And then this last one is which one of those we wanna put it into. So so we'll cycle through that, we'll go one, two, three, four. Okay, so and then, and then what we can do is then plot, um, plt plot, and we'll just plot our first one, y1, and we'll do those as red circles okay so let's go ahead and just run this okay so we have just one plot with some red circles this is just our linear one all right and then uh, let's go ahead and just say that we have a um, title okay um, and this might be um, y equals y1 equals x okay so there it is there's our title all right let's go ahead and just create some more subplots i'm just going to copy these uh, three just change this to two now all right and then uh, let's make this one a green dashed line and we'll say y2 is x squared all right, let's try that. Okay, so now we have something that's just right next. So if you want to make this look just a little bit better, let me put this in, um, make it, you know, this, this makes it just a little bit more like a, a math expression. Okay, so if you put it in the dollar signs, it uses a little tech formatting for that plot. Let me go ahead and do this for this one as well. There's our underscore and it'll just look a little bit better. All right, and then let me create two more. So this is pretty easy stuff as soon as you can figure out the, um, okay, the subplot. Now I'm gonna go to the third one, to the next row, and, oh, I forgot to change that to two, and then three, and that's gonna be cubed, and let me change the green dashed line uh, to a blue, and I'll do a little carrot there. Um, all right, let's check out that one. All right, so there are some triangles right there, some blue triangles, and copy it one more time. And that's going to be our fourth one. And let's do K, and so K is black, uh, B is blue, K is bat black, and then uh, S is a square. And that's going to be um, square root of x. Let's see if that works. Okay. Kind of filled it in there. You see how it kind of overlapped on that? 
some things you can do to uh, fix that spacing issue. Um, but for right now, we've we've got these four, and um, <clears throat> you know we'll just we'll just go for those uh, right now. Okay, um, so that's it on the uh, subplots. Um, when you're creating a new plot, you can just use the plt dot uh, subplot, and then uh, this is the dimension of you know. So if you if you did change this to four one. You'd have to do that for all of them. And it's just going to stack them. Four rows, uh, one column. And then it's just going to change it a little bit. Okay, so you see how I, I put them all on top of each other. All right, so, so you can arrange that. That's the first two arguments in the subplot. And the third one is which one of those subplots you want to work on. All right, so that's it for... Um, the subplots. The course material is here at apmonitor.com um, and then go down to take a course. This is the introduction to programming and we were working off of the homework right here. This is assignment 9 and then also post the solution files there.